A lot of people today suffer from addiction and addiction um, is a life destroying um, condition where uh, we try to use a substance or a behavior, a repeated behavior uh, to suppress the voice of the conscience. I know this is a very unconventional definition of addiction but this is not only coming from yoga it's also coming from my own experience and when I started to understand this I was able to give up all my addictions in just a day a single day so if you want to learn that listen on hi my name is Guru Pashupati and today we're going to delve deep into addiction so um, the mechanism of the conscience is something that we really don't understand. The conscience is something that never shuts up inside us. It goes on saying the truth, the inconvenient truth. And it's painful for our ego to hear the inconvenient truth. When I was addicted to alcohol, the inconvenient truth was that my marriage was not working out. But I didn't want to listen to that. So I started drinking. And ultimately it ended up in a divorce, after which I didn't need alcohol anymore. So I found this very strange that somebody who was drinking almost a whole bottle of alcohol, how did I become a person who doesn't need this anymore? Okay, that wasn't the first time I got addicted to alcohol. It was totally all right. Uh, after that, I never had any alcohol. And then years later, maybe um, seven or eight years later, I got into another useless relationship <laughs> and in this one uh, again I felt that the pain that I was avoiding my conscience was telling me that I don't I'm not loved in this relationship and I didn't want to listen to that so in order to shut it up I would just have uh, a few drinks and then which soon became a whole bottle a day again and this time I wasn't able to stop it because I felt sick and uh, then uh, when I was really, really sick, I realized, man, I have to give up alcohol now because, you know, I'm, um, I'm going to die. <laughs> and then when I stopped it, uh, I became very weak and uh, it, it took me a long time to recover. I had to do a lot of things to recover. But I haven't touched alcohol since because I suddenly started hearing the voice of my conscience. And my conscience was telling me that this relationship is not working for sure. But I don't have also the skills to leave this relationship right now. So I was stuck in that relationship for almost five years. And during that time, I used to, I started listening to my conscience. And then my conscience was telling me that I need to have patience. I don't have the skill to have patience. And I have to really repay all the karmic debts that were there uh, associated with this relationship and I was like what karmic debts and even the conscience started to give me the answers to that uh, eventually it led me uh, to start listening to my teacher and I could even hear his voice uh, equal and on par with the conscience and clearly I started understanding that uh, I need to have patience I'm here to learn something in this relationship and if I learn that then this relationship will get over. And just exactly that happened. When I had reached a certain level of skill in this whole relationship, I was able to uh, cut it off gracefully and peacefully. And uh, that helped me to uh, understand that I have to always listen to the voice of my conscience or I can get some addiction of some kind, okay? It's not very hard to listen to your conscience because it goes on talking, it never shuts up, okay? It's what you shut up when you have a cigarette, okay? People who quit uh, uh, alcohol or cigarettes, what they find is irritation, <laughs> or they find irritability. So when this happens, it means that something is irritating you, and that's the voice of the conscience that's saying, you know, you're inadequate in these areas and you better get skilled up, you know? It's our internal guide. Everyone is born with it. So make sure that you listen to your conscience 
and when you hear your conscience uh, you know you, you can you can verify that in your life that all of your problems are coming because you don't have this particular set of skills and that hurts your ego to hear okay it's really that simple I saw uh, several videos and that had influenced my mind a lot that addiction is actually a lack of connection and when people get connected they don't get addicted and uh, on research and on uh, really experimentation I found that not to be true and it is the uh, the plain truth that if we start listening to our conscience we will no longer be dependent on substances so those of you who are trying to quit something don't quit it start listening to your conscience okay have as much of your substance as you want but start listening to your conscience and don't use the substance to shut up your conscience the moment you hear your conscience your desire for the substance goes away it's incredible okay so i want you to do this and be free in a day all that irritability you feel when you quit for a day or two is just you again and again trying to avoid your conscience by now turning it into anger or by turning it into depression or by turning it into something else anything <laughs> fear yeah overconfidence you can make it anything and then this drama will help you to avoid your conscience you don't really need a substance you know and every strategy you use to avoid your conscience spoils your health even if it's drama all right so uh, get serious about this because you're throwing your life away by being addicted to substances and not listening to your conscience you're actually throwing your life away because the only guidance that we have internally and the true one that we can trust is coming from inside and it's called the conscience those who follow it sleep very well at night and have great health and relationships and it's very important to listen to it if your conscience is saying your relationship isn't work out working out listen to it and develop more skills that you can use to either make your relationship work out or to leave it altogether but uh, do something think about it and then you will be guided from the inside and you sometimes you can sit and have a conversation with your conscience and if you say look i understand i don't have skills but what should i do and surprise surprise your conscience has answers okay so i'm connecting to you to a very powerful thing within you it is truly the voice of god that is within us and always keeps telling us like it won't shut up you can't shut it up don't try to shut it up it's not humanly possible okay so whatever you do it's going to shout louder and louder until you hear it and um, you know it's basically uh, what we came on earth to do to be navigated by the conscience and then you know there's nothing that we can't do and the things that we do we'll have to, a true desire for it it won't be just some superficial nonsense we'll be truly truly into it with our heart and soul and it satisfies us so much that we don't need any substances anymore i wish shiva gives you this wisdom and allows you to see that you only have to get skilled to stop being addicted thank you very much for watching follow and subscribe for more i keep making videos on various subjects and all the subjects are requested by my viewers just like this one all right thank you very much for viewing and uh, share this with your friends if you find this useful